All right, guys, we are picking up for part six of the God of War series. Um, I recorded parts one through five in one shot. And so it's been like a day since I've played now. And I think I'm going to I'm going to do another long session right now. But since it's not like a super popular series, it's pretty hard to break into doing popular walkthrough series um, on YouTube. And so there's since there's a smaller number of you that are watching these, I think what I'm going to do is just upload like longer videos and I'll just put chapters to break them up for like large sections that make sense um so yeah let's jump back into this i did actually notice while i was editing the last part that i think we missed a chest that's i guess one of the benefits of recording your gameplay so we're gonna backtrack a little bit here and make sure we go get that chest at least i think there's one back here i kind of saw it quickly while i was scrolling through all the video I hope you guys are enjoying the series or the game if you're playing the game along with us. Um, I've been enjoying it so far. And I also wanted to mention, I think, like, I had uh, put on some of the pre-order items, the Darkdale grips and stuff like that. I think I'm going to take all those off because I, I want to do guide videos on, um, like, the best builds and the best gear and stuff like that. And... I want to make sure I'm using stuff that I can actually recommend to pretty much everybody. You know, like very few people are going to have these Darkdale grips. So I'm going to take those off in a minute here. Um, I'm just looking around to see where... I think we went too far, actually. I swear I saw a chest, like, on the left side here while we were paddling around. Yeah, so I want to do guides on like the best early game build, the best early game outfit or gear, and um, eventually also do probably like combat tips, combat guides and things like that. We already did all that stuff over there. Um, maybe it was just that I saw those other geysers across the water. Let me see. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking like, we must be able to get over here somehow. Um, let's see. We lowered this gate so we can get across here now. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh, not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm. Okay, so obviously that's a chest. That's not the one I was thinking of, though. I was thinking of a red one. So let's go get this and then we'll backtrack again. I swear there's a red chest back there somewhere. If I can't find it on one more try, we'll just keep going. But I hate leaving stuff behind. I'm definitely a completionist. Yikes. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Yeah, there's some. We like drop something on them to just take them all out in one shot. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Well, there's the tree down there we could grab. Well, here's a rock. They're not. That's not close enough, though. Let's chuck that boulder at them. Oh, 
What are those little things called? They're kind of annoying. Oh, some new handles. Okay. For the blades. All right, well, let's switch these now. So the steel handles are what you have by default. The Darkdale handles were my Jotnar edition pre-order bonus item. So we're not going to use those. Um, is this what we just got? Dark, deadly Obsidian? Yeah, it must be. Well, those are better. So we'll just switch to them. And then let's go to the axe. Don't want to use this Darkdale. Wooden knob is default, almost positive. So let's go Furious Maul. So now we're running, well, let me check, let me check. Vidar's Pauldron of Might, that's, you can buy that. We bought that, we crafted that. Husk Arm Guards, Husk Girdle, yeah, okay. We're all on no pre-order items. Oh, can we see these ruins from here? Oh, sweet. That was one of them. All right, we're going to have to take these guys down. But we can do a... What is it called? Death from above or whatever? Is I swear, I swear the yellow ones are supposed to be able to be parried, right? I thought the yellow um, indicators when they attack are supposed to be parryable. And I swear with these guys, like, I can't parry them. Oh, there is a one. Maybe I'm just not timing it right. Give me some hack silver. Was oh, this the first one we found like this? I guess so. Yes. We're, oh, more of them, huh? Poison is strong, man. I'm trying to figure out if the uh, blades or the axe is better on these guys. Oh, we lost that? Alright, let's get this done real quick. Okay, we still have the chest. Kill them again? Okay. Wait, is he is it giving us a freebie? I didn't kill them all. Alright. Which ruins do we need? You don't even really have to freeze that. You could just guess and check. Oh, here's another. 
Hit it one more time. It's for our rage. Yes. Okay. Guess we're all done here. Let's go see if we can find that other chest. It's a red one, I swear. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making things up. I don't want to go around in circles here too much, but I don't want to miss it either. Oh, so the other thing, guys, um, I forget where I found the article. I'll link it below if I can find it again. But when I was looking at my gameplay footage, I was like, this doesn't look like 4K. You know, and I have a 4K monitor that I'm playing on. Um, it's high refresh rate and everything. And it just doesn't, didn't look 4K to me. So I found an article somewhere that kind of said that basically if you're in performance mode, which I think this is true for pretty much all games that aren't next gen exclusive, which is like all games right now on PlayStation. Um, it's not a true 4K. The only way to get true 4K is if you go for, I'm not going to switch it because it's going to bug out my monitor. But if I go for the resolution mode instead of favorite performance, that will give you a f true 4K, but it's 30 FPS as, as what I understand, um, which jives with like Horizon Forbidden West and other games that I've played. So I, I think the thing that makes more difference is frame rate by long shot. So I actually turned this high frame rate mode back on and favor performance. And I think from what I understand that basically that's somewhere between like 1440p or 2k and 4k and then having favor or having the high frame rate mode on will give us like somewhere between 60 and 90 fps so i know in the thumbnails i've been saying this is like 4k but i don't think anyone can really record this in 4k unless they're on the favor resolution mode which i don't think you guys want to see that um I hope nobody's like super upset, but I'm not going to do them on that mode because I think frame rate's a lot more important, both for me playing and for you watching. It's just going to look better. Um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of tell you that because I had in the thumbnails that it was 4K and oh, we're all the way back at the beginning now. This is too far. Um, had in the thumbnails that it was 4K. It, I mean, the videos were uploaded in 4K. And I was trying to do it in 4K, but I don't think it's really possible without dropping the frame rate to dramatically, and I don't really want to do that. So they'll be in 1440p from now on, and I think it's still going to look really crispy. So curious if you guys do notice a difference, though. I mean, let me know in a comment or let me know what settings you're using. I'd be curious to know if anyone knows better. Okay, it must have been this area. Let me get off at this dock. Because we fought a bunch of those Grims here. But I think we need to go across. However we got across before, I don't really remember. It's probably why we're not seeing it from the water. I thought, like... Oh, I can see it right now. You can see that red glow. Right there. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm looking for. Yep. Yes. So it was kind of by the water. I guess that's why I thought we'd be able to see it. See what's in here. <laughs> okay, I thought it would be like something a little bit better. But anyway, I'm glad we went back for it and I wasn't just crazy. I wish we could swim. I love swimming in Horizon. And uh, can't swim here. 
It's not a true open world, so didn't really expect that, but it'd be cool. Be nice if that was a boat dock at least so we don't have to climb back across. Alright, now we can go to Nordvalir? Nordvalander? What's the dwarven city called that we're headed towards? Said. We'll find out when we get there, I'm sure. I also want to do videos on like the best skills, maybe. Um, I'm not sure how helpful that will be because I feel like you get XP pretty quick and you can unlock most of the skills pretty quick, but there is like there is. Um, The skill labors now, which I'm pretty sure I was reading when you upgrade them or when you use them enough times, you can then add like a modifier on them. So we'll see what that what happens with that when we get one. I don't know how much more complicated that's going to make the skill system, if that would require a video or something, but we'll see. all these barrels. Oh, I'm seeing a puzzle. Doesn't look like we can go that way. I think this is our only option. Oh, you dive down. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> I, I wish there was a setting to turn that kind of stuff off. Like, we don't, I, I want a chance to figure it out, you know? <laughs> oh. You did it. Let's see what it drops. That's a nice little loot pile here. Whoa. Forged iron, rawhide, what else? Shattered ruin and slag deposits? Oh, that's pretty good. I wonder if we can find a bunch of those guys. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Deals so much more stun with the um, with the fists. All right, I just I wanted to make sure I didn't have the difficulty down or something. Cover that geyser from here. Yep. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> nice one. Anything 
open that block? Oh, the chain's up there. Do we have to, uh... Yep. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. Cavassier? Wasn't that, uh, that's the ruin or enchantment that I really like from the last game, from 2018. He writes poems? Well, there's a bunch of them, 14 of them. Imagine, dear reader, if you so dare, creatures of metal that screech through the air, that swim through the seas that bound across land, but are brought to their knees by a warrior's hand. Wait a second. Her origins hidden, her hair red as blood. Finding places forbidden, buried under the mud. Oh my gosh. But who is this young girl who is more than she seemeth? Who will rescue her people and slay these behemoths? That is so cool. They have a horizon reference in here. <laughs> that is so cool. That's funny because in Forbidden West, you know, of course they had the, they had the three totems, the God of War totems. Oh man. I was wondering if they do something like that. We're going to have to find all these poems now, guys. 14 of them? I wonder if they all refer to what, Aloy. If I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History. Hmm. Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. History. Not all of Odin's captives hmm. can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tear is truly here. Right. It's funny because uh I feel like I mean obviously not you guys, like you guys like both games, but I feel like there's not a huge amount of overlap between um, an earthquake earlier. You think there will be another Forbidden one? West and Unlikely. God of War fans? disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Oh, we're here. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, towards. Oh, they're uh, running away. Scared of us? Alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Pumpkins. Hey, could we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Gonna need something new for that. I feel like the pots have hack silver, and other things don't. Oh. Is that a statue of Odin? I heard he a raven. Really love him here. Or for you. I think I heard a raven. There it is. One less feathery spy.
stop this water? Can't can't aim that high. But yeah, I feel like there's not a lot of overlap between like God of War fans and Horizon fans. Um but the developers clearly like are very friendly with each other. It might maybe it's just because they're like two Hello. major I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. I was gonna say two major uh Sony developers. Take your time. I will, thanks, Sindri. More of this green stuff. What is a dwarf? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. <laughs> Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? What's the word for like what Sindri is? Not a germaphobe. I mean, he is definitely a germaphobe, but Oof, it's like more than a that. Long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? <sighs> Get it, Sindri. Get it. Patience. Get it. I find it's best uh, to see these things. Get it. Come on, dude. Oh, get action. it. Uh. Okay. Whew. Ooh. There. That's the green stuff, I think. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ooh. Don't say it creepy like that. I am. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of them. How was I supposed to know they were there? Right side, brother. See, like, at what point are you supposed to parry that? Overkill these little guys. Okay, so, Derlin. <clears throat> Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer <laughs> you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. A sewer? I don't want to crawl through a sewer, man. Go back down here for a second. Now that we know what the green stuff is. Oh, another poem? Another of Cavassia's yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Armies assembled, nine warriors strong, well rested and fed, for the war would be long. The orb in the air, the branches in hand, a swing, a collision, the specters stand. For nine nights and nine days, they fight without rest, running, then wait to prove themselves best. Until finally, mercifully, the army does rout. One army triumphant, the other struck out. Uh, I don't... Armies assembled nine warriors strong? I don't know if this is a Horizon reference. Unless it's the wings of the ten? But it's nine. The orb. The specters. I don't know if they're talking about specters, specters in Horizon. 
I don't know. I don't know if that's a Horizon reference. We'll have to see if the third one is. Maybe they're just... Maybe we only get one Horizon reference. I mean, I feel like that one could very well be a reference to something else. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever have one. Best of Into luck. the sewer. Any outsider is considered a threat. Oh, this doesn't look is like a sewer. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. I don't know. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh the for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. These tiny doors. I don't think the dwarves are that small, are they? Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. An artifact? Uh, just keep moving. Or bugs. I don't think you do anything with the bugs. I think they're just there for decoration. Oh boy. Alright, do it. See, how can I... How am I supposed to parry that? I can parry his follow-ups. Kindly bugger off. Okay. Well, we're not selling something. Are we going in a circle here? Isn't this where we just came out of? Yeah. Yeah, we just went in there. All right, well, let's check out what's over here. I think I see something. What do you see? Could you maybe? No, thank you. Oh. All right. These dwarves really don't like outsiders, huh? Oh, there's a chest there. I think we need some special equipment to use this. Oh. Okay. I'll come back. here also. Oh, great. Now we got to go all the way around again. <laughs> all right. Let's go over there quick. Oh, look at that. How do we get up there? Oh, we're going to need a tool with one of these tools again. It's like steam vents or whatever they are. All right. Hopefully we'll get that soon. looks promising right well, that's like a house if he's here maybe you should let me do the talk you well we don't want to intimidate him you're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head <clears throat> none taken fair point though very well 
Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a <laughs> friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Oh, what'd you do, Mamir? I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Rigs, huh? Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. <laughs> now scamper off. Okay, so that was just our compass. Yes, I know how to navigate a map. Okay. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like you know, some sort of leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. What's this little area? Just some loot. This is not good for Kratos's back, man. He's tall. I feel like this is even low for like Sindri. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. Maybe Brock and Sindri are like taller dwarves. <laughs> yeah, see these like always have hack silver. Gateway. Back in the boat. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. Okay. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. Okay. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Yeah, this is the same, like, 2018, like, my one complaint 
Wait, cooldown? We got one of those before and it was also cooldown, I think. I want to see if it Mimir, gives us a variety or if really it always gives us the same. He didn't want the dwarves under his control and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. There's a raven. Oh wait, are we we're supposed to be doing the uh Well I guess we're supposed to be going right over there. Uh let's check out what this is first though. I wanna do this. Oh no, this is a smokestack here. Okay, good. One of the mining rigs is here. Mining see rig. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can shut it down. Trying to get more than one of them at once. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. the side content. I'm probably going to do everything in this bay that I can find before going on the main quest. Oh, we can get him from up here. Easy there, Kratos. Alright, now how do we get down there? Still see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Oh, cool. Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Yeah, I'll do Muspelheim combat trials again. <laughs> So we need another half of a seed to do that? Yeah, see, I never get hack silver from barrels. Silver, hack silver was from the ground, not the barrels. I don't think there's been a time I've got it from barrels yet. Alright, clearly we have to go up there at some point. Let's grab this first. is just an upgrade material for either the axe or the blades if I'm remembering. I was looking at the my inventory a little bit before I started recording. 
just to see what we might want to upgrade. Oh, look at that guy. Not yet, Atreus. Not yet. Did he just spurt them out? They just keep coming. It's a bird trap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Oh, hurry, move this slow. Stop, find you. Look at him. I felt that one, brother. Oof. Yeah, he spurts him out. That's so weird. Freeze and then use the blades. There we go. Little guy got us. All right, I want to bait him into one of those exploding pots. I gotta pay a little bit more attention to those little ones too. They just keep oh, you coming. can parry them. Okay. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Oh, it will be so. Whatever it spits up in the process. Whoa. Oh, 
that's cool. If the dwarves agree to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. The Devalier ore? Okay. Need to, uh... Get something to increase the frost damage. Because I feel like... Oh, what's this? Oh, we got gold on that. Oh, okay. These are the tokens. So we can do stun, increases the stun, increase the frost with this element token. Which I was literally just talking about. I want more, more frost. Momentum. Increases permafrost buildup. Mm. Which skill is this now? Just the R1. Well, let's just increase the frost. Is this permanent? Like... That's a thousand XP to do this. Can I back out of this? No, I think it's forcing us. Oh, you can switch them. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick at first. All right, well, let's go with that. How much XP do we have, by the way? 2,000. I want that one eventually. That's 1,000 XP though. The dodge ones I don't use much. That one would be useful. What, are, what can we get on the blades though? Oh, see, I thought I had this. Let's get this. That's what I thought I was trying to do. It was like, um, freeze them and then use the blades for more damage. And wait, do we have that on the axe? Okay, it was the other way around. I need to burn them and then use the axe. Okay, but now I can do it either way. I want to try that out. Oh, now Atreus has his own XP now. Draw enemy aggression. Yeah, that's useful. Do that. Maybe this one? I could do three. And not that one. I don't want to do the evading one, though. 1,000, 1,750. Yeah, I can't do all three of these. Drag the axe, high frost. Okay, so we can, we can apply frost with that. That seems good. Explosion of frost. What is this one again? All right, let's get these two. And we'll have more XP soon, I'm sure. So what, a hold R1? That's cool. And then we can, how do you do the other one? Hold R2. Easy enough. To bring it all the way back, huh? Alright, so that's one rig. How many how many of these rigs are there?
Two of them. Two more. How did these bricks come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Ah, uh, yeah, because slag deposits definitely float. It's funny this is not Aegir's gold anymore. It's like just random resources, it seems like, floating in the water. Now that's a big statue. Whoa. This is a dragon? What is that? Dead. <laughs> Can we go under it? Yep. He hit a barrel in there. That dragon sculpture is not dragon bad. Dragon beach. Yep, it's dragon. What dragon sculpture are you talking about? Oh, this. Try to bury. Pretty sure you're totally invincible while you're doing that finisher animation. still be alive. Is that all of them? So what does this do? Oh, that's just to like knock them down when they're up there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. It's 
another one of those guys. I thought I heard a raven. I think we can get this guy from up here, probably. These guys are full of resources. Need two more ruins. guy in the barrel? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay. So are they all hidden behind geysers? Where's another geyser? I thought I saw one. Here we go. Yes. Second one though. I thought it was every one. Didn't we get one before when we got an increase? We must have had two. So not all dwarves can. It was do every that thing three in 2018. Thing. I'm pretty right? sure. Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. By another raven. Yeah, he's way too far. We'll go up there and get him. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be a lot. Resurrection stones. Okay. Can I still read the poems if I sell them? I assume they're in the codex. I don't want to lose my horizon poem. The artifacts are I'll take just em. for selling. Ooh. Oh. These will look fantastic in my storage. Wait, we don't have them anymore? Uh huh. Really? Oh, man. Guess not. What can I make for you? No, I don't want to. How much is a resurrection stone? Oh, we had a free one. Yeah, zero. I'll take it. Are 
wait, what is this now? This is what we do with the Nidavellir ore that we just got. Stun grabbing an enemy grants a health burst. Ooh. That's pretty nice. What are we wearing right now? How high does this go? So strength, defense, 116, 68 is what that max is at. This does strength, defense, and vitality. 116. Did I say 68 on the other one? So this has higher defense, less strength, also vitality though. And then stun grabbing grants a health burst. That's actually pretty nice. This one has combo finishers have a high luck chance to increase strength and stagger. Uh, this is guaranteed though. How about the matching wrist and waist? Reduces how quickly enemies stun bars drain. That I feel like is less useful. I assume you pair that with this, you get a hundred. Yeah. Maybe. Let's get the chest piece for now. I'm going to switch to this. Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. <laughs> Typical Kratos. Let's upgrade it too. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. What's the special on our husk arm guards? Take less damage from unblockable attacks. And attacks from behind. I feel like that's almost more useful than this. I can grab them fast enough. They don't, you know, the stun lasts long enough. Let's grab the stuff we missed. I knew we'd left something behind. I never see where we leave it behind, but I guess that's why they have a chest. Oh, well, it looks like this part's going to be over an hour, guys. <laughs> we'll probably... I'll get all the... Smokestacks done. We've done one. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where I want to cut it. Thing is, I'll put chapters, so. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need, I need, to set right a very old wrong. Well, would you, you did something else, man? <laughs> Come on, man. Where's that raven? I hear it. Oh We've got to clear out all these undead bats. Alright, now Blazeville is frozen. He 
he's too quick. You can't, uh, uh, oh, I can resurrect. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> brother, get up, brother. I missed it. I guess you have to, uh, you can't parry him while he's still doing his combo. So quick. We'll resurrect. Little guys are kind of tough. I think you just have to make sure you don't uh, try and do anything while he's doing his three hit combo, basically. Cursed Empress handles? Chaos Spark. Oh, Fleeting Remnants of a Chaos Flame collects six. That's pretty sweet. So that's how you get one of the flames, I guess. I assume we're upgrading with, um, like one flame at a time again with the weapons. Oh, we'll have to be in a shop to check. But what's up with these attachments? Let's see. Deadly Obsidian. These are slightly better. We might as well equip those for now. Oh, we can't go through there yet. Let's go find another uh, forge. Find the Smokestack. A prisoner of sorts. Rig. A prisoner behind the door? Is that what he said? What'd you do? The mirror? Uh, we came from that way. If it isn't my two favorite customers. There's another and mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Hey, 
incoming! Above you! Just so many of them. I feel like they come in like they add in more throughout the fight too. Like I didn't see all of those guys at first. It's clinging to the wall! We gotta knock it down! Oh. 
Everybody? I think so. Oh, I didn't make use of my new uh, armor. I wanted to stun them and then grab them. Heal. One more of those somewhere. Didn't we just get one of those before? I swear we just got one of those. I mean, we got the apple, but I thought we got one of those like earlier too. Ah, oh, you okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource or mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. That's two rigs down. The There's the third one. Because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Sparklefine. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Anything back here? Oh, just Amir, a barrel. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Hi. He quarreled with his son. Enough. Went into the... We will continue later. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... We could swing across that uh lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. <sighs> it's gotta be the right spot. 
Okay. Battles. I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. Okay, so red walls will blow up with barrels, I guess. the ground here if you found a high enough place to drop from <laughs> oh so we have to raise up the So I guess. The dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. Hmm. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Pots definitely always have axe over, and I don't think the barrels or anything else do. Honestly. Uh, be able to launch across to that one somehow. Put this all the way up, maybe. There's a 
chest up there. Too high now? I think so. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> see, see, I, I just feel like it's a little too handholdy. Like he just confirmed that I did the right thing. Just let me go up here and you know, try it, and then when it doesn't work, I'll do it over. Wasn't so hard. Maybe there's a setting for that. I don't know. I haven't really looked that hard. I don't think so though. Are you vulnerable while doing that? Seems like when this gets yellow, the red one must be like when you time it perfectly, perfectly, you know? Because you'll get yellow or you'll get red when you get the when you uh, parry. I should try the other shield out too. I mean, I assume you can still parry with it, but maybe it has something else that's good. So meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. I wonder if we can craft anything else with it except this specific armor. Probably not. Oh, did we not read the ruin down there? Have to go back down. That was pretty cool. Nice. 
So this is what we have right now. Let's switch to this. It maxes out with more frost. I, I like to go as full as I can with the elementals. Oh, is this another scroll? Oh, not, not a Kavastier one. A lot more horizon ones. All right, is that it for the rigs? I think it is. Oh, no, 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 wait. Let's go get that rune. We'll get that rune and then I'll finish this part here and we'll do a new video for the next part. Huh. Impressive. All right, guys. We'll wrap it up there. Thank you for watching. Um, it's going to be a longer one. I'll put chapters in there to break it up. Maybe people for like each rig or something that makes sense. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next part.